Civilized greedy, peace, shalom, hotel, barigani, free the land, whatever greeting that you go by, I want to greet you wherever you are. All right? If everyone is doing all right and enjoying the sunshine with your feet in the grass and some good food in your stomach and you hydrated, uh, just put your hands in the air so I can see you. Okay, we got one, two. Okay, Sister in the Blue, I got you. She must feel extra good. <laughs> all right? That's a beautiful thing. All right, my little brief talk, I want to talk to y'all about some basic, simple things that I have put um, in my latest book called The Warrior's Tapestry. All right? But first, let me give, let me ask a few questions before I dive into uh, The Warrior's Tapestry. By a show of hands, how many people have an assignment in life? Your assignment. You have an assignment? All right, that's a beautiful thing. How about y'all? Okay, you got an assignment, all right. How many people understand and are in sync with your assignment in life? How many people are carrying out the assignment? I see you back there, bro. He's serving food, but he said, I got you, Griff. All right. My assignment, when I first understood it, I hooked up with some brothers in Roosevelt, Long Island, New York, and we put this thing together called Public Enemy. And from the outstart, there was only about four or five of us that were sitting in a back room and we said what we wanted to do was have this idea of taking this African word, this African spirit, this African vibration, this revolutionary spirit, this revolutionary vibration and put it on music so we can reach the human family, so we can reach those people that we know that have the spirit of the creator, whatever you call the creator inside of them. So we said what we needed to do was put together a formula to bring that thing out of our people. Now, everyone with an assignment, no one understand that the creator put you on this planet at the time that you're supposed to be on this planet. Am I right or wrong? What are we doing with that time? What are we doing with that understanding of our assignment? We put the public enemy thing together. We said we need to come up with the right name. All right? We couldn't come up with a name like so-and-so plus one more or DJ so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so MC. It had to be something a little bit more impactful on the people. All right? So we came up with the concept of the of public enemy. Knowing, understand that the mindset that we had, we're going against the grain in the music industry, against the grain in what we're seeing in the hood. All right? So what we wanted to do is craft and put together that sound and those lyrics that we knew would awaken something in our people, all right? We came out so militant, so hard, and so radical. A lot of people looked at us and said, these people are just anti-everything. I'm like, no, not at all. We pro-black, but that doesn't mean we're anti-white. 